I've spotted something very cool. 1992 Ford Fiesta RS 1800. Holy macaroni. Mate, the paintwork, I don't know if you can see it, but the paintwork is pretty as shit. That's cheap so far. Yeah, so this is good. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. I'm sat at the desk, this must mean another online auction video. Uh, this, is, this is how just how I buy a lot of my cars, to be honest. I would love to go to physical auctions more often, but time just doesn't permit it. If the one at Bridgewater down the road was actually open in person, I'd go there a lot more. But this is what I'm left with, buying things online and trying to you know, make the most sensible choices I can with the information that's given to me via the computer screen. That said, we're trying to make sensible choices Occasionally, something interesting goes through, as you've seen me buy or tried to buy in the past, like that Porsche 924, and God knows what else we've tried to buy. Apologies for the flies, this has been tormenting me for like three days, this fly in here. I will murder it, I, I will find it, and I will kill it. Anyway, enough waffling. I've spotted something very cool that I don't know if it's gonna go for what I consider really cheap and it would make it you know, a worthwhile punt or will it be really in demand? We will have to find out later in this video. But what I'm looking at is a K-Reg. I don't even know what age that is. I guess it would tell me on here somewhere. 1992 Ford Fiesta RS 1800. It's quite a cool looking thing. Obviously very popular, very collectible and it looks to be in really, really good condition. Unfortunately, the pictures they aren't the best quality, you know, not, they're not super high res and they're not that close up, which is unfortunate because you'd want to check like arches for rust and things like that. But we can have a look at the damage report at least, I guess. Let's have a quick look, see if it tells us much. Probably not. No, that was useless. Valuations, it won't give us any because, you know, it's rare as rocking horse poo, isn't it? Um, inspection report, what's it tell us? Again, not a lot. So all we know is that it's got service print and book with services at 23,000, 26,000, 27,000, 29,000, 30,000, 34, 37, 40, 44, 46, and, and then at 84, and it's now on 85,000 miles. It's had eight owners, it comes with its V5, and it's got MOT until October. I'm not very good with months of the year. Um, or getting words mixed up. That's something we should talk about, actually. If you ever spot me in videos getting words mixed up or saying the wrong thing, like saying crankshaft instead of camshaft, or when we're talking about Porsches and I say straight six instead of flat six, or uh, I say ODB rather than OBD, then it doesn't make you smarter or very nice even to try and point it out and, you know, be like, what an idiot. I understand what they are. I just, I just slip up. You're basically taking, you know, making fun of a disabled person. So just you know, think on it. Anyway, um, so I did do a little quick search, which I did on my phone, so I'll have to have a quick look on the computer again, on Auto Trader, to see if we can get, you know, get a steer on a price for this whatsoever, because obviously there's not gonna be many of them for sale. So we're gonna look for Ford, Fiesta, more options. Probably the easiest way to narrow this down is uh, model variant. Now, I was looking for an RS 1800, but I think they just come under RS, and there's one. Conveniently, it's a very similar mileage, I think. So, here it is, it's in black. I honestly don't think it looks as nice as ours, but, you know, I, I say ours, optimistic. But it's for 9,999 pounds. It's also had eight owners. Um, it looks also to be in you know good condition, but for some reason to my eye, it looks more modified. I, I'm sure it's not, but it just doesn't look as original. It's got different seats in it. It's got some funky like bucket seat type things. Let's just have a quick comparison because did we see the seats in ours? Yeah, so ours has got more like standard Recaro seats and this thing's got some weird kind of zebra print, I don't know, bizarre chair thing. Um, theirs is on 79,000 miles and ours is on 85, obviously. They want 10 grand for it. And they're a private seller as well. So, ours has got to be worth 10 grand from us. Or, you know, maybe we raffle it. 
or something, because I thought that made quite a good raffle car. Who knows? Um, I think, I don't know, it all depends what it's going to go for. I think I'm in it for five grand to have a punt on it. Just, it could be in the, I mean, it's come from, let's talk about where it's come from. It's come from uh, the car buying group. Now, value, it says, the car buying group of value. Now, that could mean it's come from like their car buying service, but it could also mean it's just come through their network and that's just one of the sales they put it in. It's not always 100% indicative of where it's come from. So, yeah, I think if you get it for five, you'd have a five grand margin, plus you'd have to be able to fix whatever you want. The engine could be knackered for all I want, and then you try and find parts for one of those. I bet that's not cheap. Tell you what we could do to look at the MOT history and everything else like that is do a quick vehicle score check on it. I don't imagine it's going to necessarily score high because it's a rare old beast, isn't it? It might not even come up for all I know. So it's Kilo 523, November, Mike, Romeo. I wonder if our mate Hamilton's there. He might be able to have a look at it for us. We'll send him a message in a minute. Uh, it scores 434. Pretty average. Well, it's not bad, is it, for a 2030? Jesus, time's knocking on, isn't it? A 32-year-old car. Um, 85,000 miles. MOT comments, okay. Let's have a quick look at the MOT. So, yeah, it's got 111 days. Let's have a look at the performance. What was this RS 1800 making? 127 horsepower. It would still be quite fun, I think, in that. 136 horsepower in my old Mark 1 Renault Clio 1.8 16 valve felt incredible back in the day. I'm sure this will be pretty good, good fun. Right, so the last one it passed had an advisory for brake pipe corroded, covered in grease or other material, front to rear. It's not the end of the world. It failed prior to that for near side front suspension component prescribed area, excessively corroded, so it's probably had some welding in a couple of places, uh, near side front and offside front. Windscreen wiper does not clear, so they put a new wiper on it. Prior to that, it passed in 23, sorry, 22, with no advisories. 21, it passed, but with some advisories, tire, brake uh, requirements only just met, passenger seat missing. Passenger seat was missing at the time of test. Offside front wheel bearing, slightly noisy. In 2021, <laughs> holy macaroni. So it's had quite a lot of work because that is a massive, massive MOT sheet. Let's start with the advisories, rear passenger seat missing. So they've obviously been fixing this out. I wonder if they've got to a point where they're just a bit fed up of it and they've got rid of it. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Um, offside front subframe rust, misting of oil and shock absorbers, offside front tire, Near side front subframe prescribed area is corroded but not considered excessive. Near side front passenger seat missing. Huh? Oh, rear passenger seats were missing and the passenger seat was missing. So they literally only had the driver's seat in it. Um, it, it makes sense if they were doing a, I guess if they were doing a restoration on it and, you know, they were doing welding and stuff. Just, you know, if you don't need it, don't do it. Um, offside front subframe rust, rust headlamp. Offside front tyre fouling part of the vehicle. Offside rear suspension component rust. Near side windscreen wiper uh, seat belt rust. Brake pedal has insufficient reserve travel. Brake performance not tested due to near side front wheel is seized. I reckon they've dug it out. Oh yeah, look. So the prior to that, it was 2008 was the last time it had an MOT, which it passed with no advisories on 82,000 miles. Clearly, because they've got all sorts of stuff on here. Spare wheel carrier, insecure, brake servo, inoperative. Near side, so they've done a lot of work in 2021 to try and get this back on the road. I mean, it looks good for the pictures, doesn't it? Current MT looks good. It's just brake pipe corroded, covered in grease or other material, front to rear. But have they done the repairs well? Time will tell. We will have to keep an eye on the auction. When that comes through, we'll watch it go through live. I might bottle it a little bit but then I think probably other people won't and they'll bid quite strong other people will be there to see if they can look at it let me message Hamilton see if he's there don't suppose you're at Aston Barclay Westbury today we'll wait and find out we'll see you when this is going through the hall I'll have an update for you so our man on the ground Hamilton has come back to me he's had a look round he sent a video which we'll play now 
Mate, the paintwork, I don't know if you can see it, but the paintwork is pretty as shit. Apart from that... Well, actually, no, the back's not so bad, is it, actually? The back's not so bad. So... Let's have a look. Uh, so the paint, potentially not amazing, but it is 32 years old, so, you know, if it turns out okay, we could get Dom to give it a proper, you know, resto as best as he can. Um, and he's going to listen to it as it goes through as well. I'm getting more and more nervous now, but it could go well over that five grand anyway, at which point I would just think, you know, that one for 999, is, that's the only one I can find, so that's the only reference point I've got. I'm sure a lot of you might at home might be watching and saying, oh, that's easily worth 15 grand. Um, so we'll see how many dealers really want this sort of old stuff though. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we are currently two lots away. So we should get a little update from Hamilton any minute. We'll give him a shout out. If you want to find Hamilton, he does do car sales as well, obviously, which is why he's at the auctions all the time. Um, we'll put a link to his Instagram below. I don't know what it is about auctioneers, but I swear to God, they must just come up on the roster and they're like, okay, so we're getting ready to do our auction. <laughs> Listen to it. <laughs> could be better, couldn't it? That's all I'm saying. That's cheap so far. Three thousand two hundred, three thousand three hundred. It's going quick though. Three, four, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, 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 five, four, six. Last chance in it. No, someone else has gone for it. Five, three, five, four, five, 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 six. Five, seven. Well, there you are, 5,800. Um, let's have a look at it. So good timing, Joe, because they're about to start it. So this is good. Well, I'm glad I sent you this. <laughs> We might dodge the bullet there, to be honest. We weren't a million miles off. Take, take from this what you will, Joe. <laughs> it's a triumph, go. There we go. All right, okay. That actually sounds all right. It's the sort of thing, though, unfortunately. It would have been, bad, you know, fair. a fair amount of work to get it up to how we'd want it. Seems okay, it looked all right, didn't it? I managed to send you that, though. That was good timing. One sec, guys. Oh well, never mind. Thank you, Hamilton, anyway. Someone will probably see that on Auto Trader somewhere soon. By the time this video comes out, if it comes out, then uh, you'll probably be able to find it for sale somewhere, probably for like 20 grand and I'll be kicking myself. But, you know, it's one of those cars, everyone would have come and picked about that MOT back in whatever and they'd want this, they want it on the ramp, they'd want pictures of this, they'd want that, they'd want someone else to come and inspect it and whatever. So it would have been a pain in the butt, to be honest. But, um, there we are. Thought it was interesting. I got plenty of other cars to try and buy today, so, uh, thank you so much for watching. It was probably be a very quick video, something a bit different, but yeah. Maybe if one of you guys got something interesting, as I said before, when I did the Porsche video, if you got something interesting like that, maybe I might be interested. I don't know why I get tempted when I see stuff at auction like that. But yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like it. It'll really help me out. 
And if you do subscribe, you'll be in with a chance of winning a very nice watch. And it's not here actually, is it? I've put it away somewhere safe. That's it. Don't forget to check out the raffle competitions. Feelgoodcompetitions.com. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.